Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we will be diving into some quests that are actually expiring within the next week, um, seven and eight days, or seven and eight days away from today. So I want to get this out quick. Um, but one is intro to Lodestar, which is Lodestar Finance, or pioneering decentralized money markets on Arbitrum Network and Squid Squad Star Dance, Mint a limited edition NFT and join the celebration as Decent, uh, Decent integrates Squid to power the future of one-click cross-chain transactions. I was like, Decent, uh, a little confused there. But anyways, thank you for joining. Please like, subscribe, share this out. And again, help spread the word of blockchain technology. And without further ado, let's get started. Intro to Lodestar. So Lodestar Finance brings the power of decentralized leading uh, to Arbitrum, communities like GMX, Treasure, DopeX, and Plutus. Lodestar is bringing critical DeFi infrastructure to layer two native communities. Explore the future of finance with Lodestar. So follow Lodestar, you should do all that. Borrow at least two USDC via Lodestar on Arbitrum Network. I haven't done anything on Lodestar at all so we'll switch to arbitrum boom boom we make sure nope didn't switch over okay back on arbitrum and there we go so max available so it looks like we will need to so i'm not sure why they don't have the supply first but either way we'll, we'll we'll make a quick token swap make a quick token swap and then Confirm. Wait. Okay, let's see if this is enough. We want to supply USDC. And you'll want to enable this as collateral. So once the USDC has been okay, so USDC E is actually what we have. We'll enable the collateral approved for spending. So there we go. And we'll supply the max amount borrow capacity. You want to be able to borrow at least $2. So next, we'll go to borrow. You can 
borrow three bucks. Boom, boom. You supplied and you borrowed. Now we will verify. Boom, supply at least $1, which we've done. Nope. Um, that's weird because we've supplied USDC. So we'll check that. Interesting. It's not working for me, huh? It's all right. Go to repay and handle that. Repay. And Boom, boom. Repayment successful. Let's check this. Supply again. Nope. Okay. We'll need to supply a little bit more. Nope. Let me see if I can withdraw this, if that works. I'm not sure why this transaction thing is backwards, but it should have been borrow and then supply because it doesn't make sense to borrow some, or supply something after you've borrowed it because you're, you can't do one before the other. So, see if this one might have to refresh it's the thing with these sometimes some of them just do not work and we'll verify nope all right looks like I'm gonna have to do this again so we'll supply the pain the pain of blockchain technology at times still a lot of funkiness okay now we will supply no nope. I need to supply not approve we'll supply this and confirm deposit successful Interesting. Hmm. For some reason, it is not working. Well, until I figure out what's going on with this, we'll have to skip it, but Next, you'll have to stake it, and then you'll be finished. You'll probably an urn is where you will stake your tokens. On Camelot Exchange is what it looks like. You'll be needing uh, to swap for, for load, L-O-D-E. I'm not sure how much, but... They will have all that information. Um, pair swap. So USDC. Connect our wallet. So it looks like I can swap for the regular USDC. I, I wonder if that's what will is keeping me from 
So we'll withdraw this. Now I'm not sure why the USDC E is so different, but <clears throat> okay. Close out of here. Now we'll swap to USDC because Okay, not enough token allowance given. USDC to USDC. Okay. Save settings. All right, there we go. So now that whatever happened, I don't know, but now once you allow your token approval setting to be high enough, it can swap. So now that we have our USDC, we can go in here, we can supply. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed, I'll be sad, wasting all this money on transaction fees, it's annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't, I just want to supply, so be careful when you have multiple transactions that you don't approve one twice, like the first approval, you'll, you might get that a few times. So, bada boom, let's see if it'll approve it. Uh, hey. There we go. So you do have to have actual USDC, not USDC E. And there we go. We'll take this back out because I will need this later. Boom, boom. Now we can get out of here. Oh, not yet. Not yet. We got to go to earn. So stake and lock any amount of load via load star. You must state lock your stake for at least three months to be eligible to vote in the gauge. Now you don't have to have it in here for, um, you don't have to have it in there for three months for the quest. I'm going to swap back for some ETH just to get some uh, make sure I got my transaction fees covered. We'll approve, then swap. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now I will swap the rest for load. Load star! Sound like World Star, man. All right, we'll swap that. Okay, cancel. Make sure that our settings are okay. Approve. Use the rest of that. I need a walk-in treadmill or something, man. Or a moving treadmill. So now we'll swap. Gotta get this blood flowing. I've been standing here too long. 
making a bunch of videos. There we go. Swap it over. Now we go to here. After we got our load, we'll disconnect. And we will stake. Stake our load tokens. We'll stake them all. Stake them all. Now enable. Or is that, yeah, we already did that. Now stake. And stake. Nothing? Nothing. Sometimes these things have bugs and it does not. Ooh. Yeah, that's weird. Twelve. Okay. Looks like it's a little glitchy. Glitchy, glitchy. Let's see. Contract. Looks like we got our... Staked, yep, looks like it's staked. Painstakingly complicated. Disconnect my wallet from here. Boom, vote engage system. Users first need to delegate their voting power. Delegation period is from Monday to Wednesday. Voting period is from Wednesday to Sunday. So we can delegate Yeah, and you don't have to do this so I'm just gonna skip this in the in the time of this video so we will continue on if we don't have much time as I got hair in my face close out this and next up, we got the Squid Squad Star Dance. Boom, Squid's routing is now part of Decent's one-click NFT cross-chain transactions, the box. The Squid Squad Star Dance NFT was designed by the globally renowned J. J. Daniel Wright. This NFT symbolizes our united efforts to make on-chain culture accessible. So the box transforms the minting of NFTs into a user-friendly experience. With Squid, assets find their way to Matic on Polygon for a seamless transaction. So read their announcement and retweet. Give me some water. Because I don't know how to drink. I spill water everywhere. It's all good. Need to clean my office. So mint the NFT from any supported chain. Base, Optimism, Arbitrum, Polygon, Ethereum, and you'll receive the NFT on Polygon. All right. So we'll connect our wallet. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I like it. So I don't know what the... Okay, so it looks like that's the mint fee. Very, very cheap. And a couple dollars with the transaction fee. So with that, you'll be, yeah, about two bucks. About two bucks, mint your NFT. These little funny guys holding hands and fins and 
all the weird things. Okay. Not sure. Boom, boom. No. But I got one. Strange, strange that it's not showing me this transaction. I wonder if I need to Interesting. I'm going to see if I can find it on Ooh. See if I can check open C. <clears throat> Let us connect. Go to Polygon and we can see our NFTs on here. Let's see, my collections, there we go. We can see what is going on here. Yep. Oh, yeah, my profile. Um, we'll view items on the hidden tab. Interesting. Looks like some of these are little weird ones. So collected chains, trying to find this one. I guess I didn't do it. Not quite sure. So it doesn't look like that worked, but we can test it out on Matic, on the Polygon blockchain. Fingers crossed we can get this, this one minted. So I'm not quite sure what happened with the Arbitrum chain. So successfully minted. It's still not verifying our transaction. I guess it's because it's not finished yet. So it looks like these will take a minute to hash out. Uh, no pun intended. As we get, there we go. The Squid Squad Star Dance. Boom. Yeah, just do it on the Polygon Network. It's a lot easier. We can now check out, refresh, see if we can get our NFT loaded. 
Yep, there we go. Squid Squad Star Dance. Boom, boom. Disconnect and verify. You can answer their poll. Um, it was a three. Uh, better UI UX. Oh, no, skip, skip. And boom, quest complete. Common chest. Let's see, get a cool, no. Well, now you get a cool limited edition NFT and I'll, I'll try and figure out what, what the heck is up with the, not this one. Oh yeah, we completed that. I was thinking of a different one, but anyways, we got a bunch of good stuff coming. Got some other ones in the works. And yeah, if you need any help, have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll be happy to help. But with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day. Peace.